Hey guys, my name's Bill, this is Yo-Yo Tech. Today, we're gonna take a look at an awesome gadget I found for the kitchen. It's gonna help you cook the perfect steak over and over and over again. Every single time, perfection. Perfect for Father's Day. Today, we're gonna take a look at a new kitchen smart home gadget that I found. And the beauty of this is it helps you cook the best steak you've ever had. Over and over and over, repeatable results. I used to go out with a bunch of friends, we'd go to fancy steak restaurants and at a bunch of them I asked how they get such a good steak all the time. Sous vide is the answer. It's the secret answer that they don't want you to know about. So guys, the process to do this is super simple. Essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some steak, we're gonna prep them with salt and pepper, we're gonna put them inside Ziploc bags, try to get the air out, we're gonna dump them in this pot of water, and then we're gonna walk away for an hour and let them do their thing. But, just so you know, an hour is a guideline. If it's an hour and a half, two, three, four hours, that is fine because the sous vide cooker will just keep going. Um, the beauty of sous vide cooking is it cooks your meat to a specific temperature. You know sometimes you see those things where they stick a thermometer in, they say your temperature, internal temperature of the meat has to be a certain temp. That's what this does, but it does it this way. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the beauty of it. Your steaks don't shrink. The meat stays exactly the size as when you bought it, because you don't dry them out when you cook it. So it's really the secret why it's so good. But it also means if you buy a big giant steak like these ones, by the time you're done, you're not looking at it going, mm, this isn't going to be enough because what you buy is what you get. So guys, super simple process. Let's step you through it and show you the final results. Keep it in mind for Father's Day. It's what my dad's getting. Shh, don't tell him. Um, but it's a super gift, guys. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to get ourselves a nice cut of steak. Put a little salt and pepper. And we can go ahead and do that on both sides. Salt and pepper. And then we're gonna take our little steak, and this is where the really challenging part comes in. We're gonna open up a Ziploc bag. Now, a lot of people like to use um, sealers, you know those things where you put the meat in it, and vacuum packs out the air. You can get one of those. I'll put a link down below if you're, if you're interested. It makes things easier, and if you're doing it all of the time, it's probably the best way to go. Uh, but a Ziploc bags works just as well. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take that nice looking steak and we're going to drop it down into the Ziploc and we'll put it off to the side. And we will do the same thing for the remaining steaks. So step number two is simple. We prepare the ANOVA cooker, the ANOVA sous vide. And we get ourselves a pot. So we have got our pot set up. We are going to take our a Nova cooker or a Nova sous vide, and all you do is you literally, it's got a little clampy thing on it here, so it fits some tons of different pots. You stick that on the side and you clamp it down just like so, nice and tight, nice and easy. What we're going to do is we are going to lower the steak in the water and as we do that it's going to push the air all out of the bag. We're going to want to get as much air out of there as we can and as soon as we get to the top of the water we're going to zip it shut. So here we go. We plunge that down in there and as we put it down in the water pushes the air out of the bag until we get to the top and then I zip, 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 zip. That done. And there you go. So if I pull it back out just to show you, you can see that the air is pretty much airtight in there. There's a little bit in there, but we're going to be okay. Now the other way you can do this is the old fashioned way. You can have suck the air out if you want, but I prefer this way. That way I don't go around tasting raw meat. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to do that for all of the steaks that you have. And then once your steaks are in there, you want to take like a little clip of some sort. And you just want to kind of clip them to the side of the pot so that they don't float around. And what that does is it just keeps the kind of the intake and the outtake on the uh, ANOVA cooker clear. And that's it. Okay, so once you have your steaks in there, you have your ANOVA plugged in, it's super simple. You're going to want to go into the app from ANOVA. The first time you do this is going to help you set it up, but I've already done that. What you do is when you open the app, it has a whole bunch of recipes and stuff you can do. Or what you can do is go straight into guide and it has different types of meat you can cook. Of course today we're going down to steak 
and strip steak. And you'll see at the top, you have options of how you want it to cook. And it even gives you a little picture. Very rare to rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. Now, I think I am gonna go medium today just because I know the people who will be eating it. And it tells us here that we need to do 139.5 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. It gives us some really simple directions on how to prepare the steak. And just so I can show you here, it's got the full directions with pictures, how to put it in the bag, how to seal it, how to put it in the water, pretty much how I just showed you. And it even has finishing steps. And this is just how you take it out. And it's like I spoke about, you can remove it, pat it dry, throw it in a pan or barbecue it. And you get yourself your colors and off you go. So the ease of this is this. We now click start cooking. It tells us we're cooking strip steak medium and you click start ANOVA. Now, as soon as I did that, you can hear that the ANOVA jumped into action and you can see it circulating some water around here in the pot. On the front here, we have a temperature gauge that's showing us what it's actually at. And once it starts, it'll have some time. And you can see it's very quickly starting to heat up. It's at 66 degrees already. And it's going to be 139.5. Once it hits 139.5, the timer on my phone will automatically start and it will start a one hour countdown for me. So guys, that's how easy it is. I mean, I'm gonna wrap the rest of these up, get them in bags and toss them in there before it's done preheating. Like you said, it doesn't matter. You can do this while it's heating because it really doesn't matter how long you cook them for. Um, recommended for this is going to be an hour, which means after an hour, I'm perfectly ready to go. But if I wanna leave them in there a little bit longer because I'm out running, doing some errands and some chores, that's not an issue. They'll, uh, they'll just sit and keep warm in their bath of water. Final thing you're gonna to have to do after that is go ahead and just grill it up or throw it in a pan and give it a little bit of color or some grill marks. Technically, you don't have to do that. If you wanted to just cut it up, throw it in a salad or something like that, it's a fantastic option. So, beauty of this is, guys, super simple. And there are a ton of other recipes that you can do with this. You don't just have to do steak. For me, this is the perfect thing. It's just super simple, it's great. I may try some different ones. We did chicken actually once and it came out perfect. Uh, it was really nice. We actually cooked the chicken and then I breaded them the next day and just threw them in a frying pan for two minutes and dinner was ready. So if you're busy uh, running around throughout the day, you have, don't have enough time to get things like this done, it's a fantastic option. Top of that, like I said, Father's Day is coming up, guys. This is a perfect gift for dads out there. It's kind of that kitchen gadget for dads that aren't much kitchen guys. They like to barbecue, but they don't necessarily have the time to barbecue, so they can sous vide. Father's Day is coming up. Hope you guys all have a fantastic time. If you're interested, links are below for this. Like I said, doesn't cost you any extra, gets you directly to what we're talking about, and it helps my channel out a little bit. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoy your steak. And guys, I'll catch you in the next one.